All right, so we're just gonna make a quick video on showing you how to make a launch button for your drag car with the radio link. So this is an RC6GS V3. I'm not sure the V2 can do it, but definitely try it. Um, yeah, we'll jump into it here. So it's actually really simple. And what we're doing with drag cars, of course, is we're looking for consistency. And we get that by usually having a, having a remote modify how quick our throttle comes in. But we can also do that with how consistent our launch is because how fast you pull your, your trigger or you know if you slip or any number of situations could create some inconsistencies here. I know it's rare, uh, but I've seen it personally. And I think that launching off a button is more consistent and I think it can also produce faster reaction times. That's my personal opinion. Now we'll jump into it. So right now our throttle comes in as soon as we pull the trigger. And to modify it to that button, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into the menu and we'll go up to dual rate. And so right now it's set to null, we'll hit enter and we'll pick SWA. So the SWA button is your thumb button here. You can't see the label kinda, but SWA is right here. And we can see right now that our throttle over here is 100% when the button is up. So we're gonna go down to here. And now when we hold, press and hold the button, you'll see that it goes from up to down. So we have to physically hold this button, which is kind of awkward with one hand. So we're holding it down and then we'll just hit enter to modify the throttle. Bring this all the way to, oops, well, try to hold this and bring it all the way down to zero. All right, and then we'll hit enter. Now we can let go of that button. So I slipped and accidentally set that down. All right, so now we've got our SWA controlling our dual rate. So when the SWA is up, it's 100. When it's down, it's zero, and that's really it. So if we go back, we can hold the button, pull the trigger, and we've got no throttle. But as soon as we release the SWA button, we'll get 100% throttle, as you can see. Button down, button up, and that's it. That's it for the launch control. Uh, so I run a DRK ESC, so I don't use a lot of the throttle ramping stuff, but I've seen some questions about it. So I'll just give you a, a really, really, I think this remote can do a lot more than this, but this is just a quick example of how you can use, you know, like any throttle curve ESC, so like a castle or an R1. So if we go to throttle speed, and there's two options here. So speed one, uh, so this is your entire trigger pull, and this is gonna modify the speed at which it comes in. So at 100%, obviously it's instant, and then if we lower it, it's going to slow how the throttle ramps in when we pull the trigger or release the button. So if we go down to zero and we pull the trigger, we'll show you what that looks like real quick. So nice, slow, even pull. And then naturally, if you turn that up, it's, it's gonna go quicker. So let's just say we do 10. We'll just show you that real quick. Pulling the trigger. So a little bit faster. Uh, so that's a, a quick and easy way to just kind of have a linear speed pull. But uh, I've got another option here, which is speed two, uh, which gives you two, two sets of speeds to run with. So by default, you've got 30 on the TGP one. So what this one is, is how fast your low speed or I'm sorry, how far in the throttle that your low speed operates before it switches to high speed. So in this example right now, this would do 100% throttle speed to 30%, and then it would do 100% after that. So let's just go ahead and change this down to zero. So as slow as it'll go. So it's gonna go really slow to 30%, 
And then we'll bring this down to, say, 70. So really slow to 30%, and then it's going to ramp at a much higher rate. And this is what that looks like. So slow, and then past 30, and it ramps up considerably. So obviously you can play with these things. You know, if your car is spinning out on the line, you know, you might lower your low so that it ramps slower, or you might increase your TGP1 to a higher percent so that it launches at whatever your low speed is for longer before it kicks into a higher gear. And that's pretty much it. So pretty pretty simple stuff, but, <clears throat> but really consistent. And then if you toss that in with the with the button release, I think you can get some faster reaction times off the line. And 100% consistent, because releasing a button is, I think, faster and more consistent than pulling a trigger. And yeah, that's just a quick video. I worked with Radio Link. Uh, shout out to them big time, because I've been trying to... This button thing wouldn't work with the throttle ramp, so I didn't want to make a video until it did. Uh, for anybody that wanted to utilize that with, you know, a Castle or R1 ESC. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, pretty pretty simple stuff. Again, I think this remote can do a lot more tuning for those ESCs, but I just haven't dove into it yet. Hope this helps somebody, though, especially initially. And yeah, thanks for watching.